It's the loudest, most politically incorrect TV show on the planet. Everybody, come on in. It's time for Tommy's Garage. With your host, Tommy Atkins. Your mechanic, Rosie Rosencrantz. The Chocolate Thunder, Gavin Babineau. And Brittany Lee. With special guest, comedian Mike Rayo. Comedian Sam Griesbaum and Houston filmmaker Matthew Miller. I'm Matthew, the voice Gidry. It's time for Tommy's Garage. Yeah! 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 Hey, everybody, welcome to Tommy's Garage. Yeah! You, guys, you guys are ready for a great show? Yeah! We definitely got one tonight. You guys, it's time for the news. I'm Tommy Agus. Welcome to my garage. You guys are ready for the news? Yeah! Donald Trump had a few things to say. We must work together to confront forces, whether they come from inside or out, from the South or the East, that threaten over time to undermine these values and to erase the bonds of culture, faith, and tradition that make us who we are. If left unchecked, these forces will undermine our courage, sap our spirit, and weaken our will to defend ourselves and our societies. Whoa. We reward brilliance. We strive for excellence and cherish inspiring works of art that honor God. We treasure the rule of law and protect the right to free speech yeah. and free expression. There you go. We are as pillars of our society and of our success. I let them all in there. We put faith and family, not government and bureaucracy, at the center of our lives, and we debate everything. We challenge everything. We seek to yeah. know everything so that we can better know ourselves. That's right. Wow. Yeah. 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 And above all, we value the dignity of every human life, protect the rights of every person, and share the hope of every soul to live in freedom. Wow. Now, Rosie, imagine that, a president who wants to protect Western culture and yeah. brag about it, no less. Yeah, and in the entire world finally appreciates an adult in charge. There you go, okay? right there. The yeah. People see a, they want to see a strong conservative leader, and Polish chicks are hot. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> There's a big bell right there. Yeah. I'm incredibly happy because he's pissing off all the right people. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know you're a badass when they chant your name in their country. Yeah. Yes. Trump, Trump, Trump. This rebels. He needs to take a lesson from. He needs to take a lesson from Ronald Reagan and and, and Mr. Duda, cut off some commie balls. Yeah. Yes. There you go. Absolutely. <laughs> Boom, right there. Hey, did you guys see this? This is on a G20 photo session. Who was who saw this? Watch this. Watch Mike Cron. He's up on the left hand side. Watch. He pushes everybody out of his way. This is a new president of France. He's like, hell, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna stand next to Donald Trump. He shoves his way past the world leaders just to suck up the Donald Trump. I wanna see it again. Just for fun. Yeah. Yeah. Again. Look at that. That's the communist trying to get next to Trump. Excuse that me. cracks me up. Excuse me, what? <laughs> <laughs> Matthew, give you get the bell. Look, and we have the CNN headline for that right here. So check it out. Today. No way. Trump. There it is. Yeah. Trump yeah. loses. with. <laughs> 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 of course, the American media wasted no time in creating another fake scandal. The media has accused Donald Trump Jr. of colluding with a Russian lawyer. It, it turns out she was just trying to weasel into the Trump administration to help Russian babies get adopted in the USA or some crap. But Democrats just can't help themselves. Check this out. This is obviously very significant, deeply disturbing. The emails are the end of the idea pushed by the administration president that there is absolutely no evidence of intent to coordinate or collude. This is moving into perjury, false statements, uh, and even into potentially treason. The most problematic thing I've seen thus far 
They look like the four child molesters, don't they? Of course, they all ignored this teensy weasy part of the interview. Check this out. Have you ever worked for the Russian government? No. Uh, do you have connections to the Russian government? Yep. No! no! Yet! Oh, yeah. Yet, Rosie! Yeah. The Russians are coming! The Russians are coming! <laughs> but if it, if it helped not elect Hillary Clinton, I'm all for it. But I'm still not giving back the million dollars that Putin gave me to vote for Trump. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> million? Million. There, there are good things happening. Uh, and, uh, and the media is busy shouting, squirrel, over there. Everybody look yes, over there. Yes, exactly. So, I mean, we know, that, we know that Hillary colluded with the Ukrainians to help her election campaign. We found out today that she was actually using federal government employees from the post office to help her campaign on our dime, and they're concentrating on this. It's irritating. Yeah, it's ridiculous. That woman should be in jail. Yeah. Yep. They released, I mean, he released all of the emails and everything that came along with this story. He released all of it, which I think is comforting. All usually five, they're, all usually they're deleted. Yeah, exactly. No, Democrats take the Fifth Amendment when they right. want that. Right on. Hey, by the way, this week, not only did CNN get beat by Fox and MSNBC, CNN got beat by Nickelodeon <laughs> Yeah. I, I heard the Green Acres beat them, too, this week. <laughs> but the, by the way, by the way, by the way, there's another show that gets even better ratings than CNN. Let's take a look. In the uh, 1.30 to 2.30 a.m. Saturday night slot, CNN Boom, gets 7,000. Tommy's Garage. Yeah! There we go. That's right, that's right. Tommy's Garage beats CNN. 48 cities as of next week. We're coming for you, bitches. Hey, Wolf. We'll, <laughs> Wolf Blitzer, if you need a job, I'll help you sweep up the place. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I'll give you 10 bucks, no problem. Hey, speaking of people who should be sweeping up floors, last week in New York City, a police officer was murdered by Black Lives Matter worshiper. Of course, Mayor de Blasio reached out to the police and stood by the officers in this time of tragedy, right? No. No. He flew off to Germany to join the G20 protesters, Rosie. Yeah, he flies off in a private jet to go and, and riot with the fascists. That sounds like a certain Kenyan that I know that uh, did, did the same thing right yes. after four people got killed in Benghazi. That's he uh, went to Vegas. Right. Yeah. Jay-Z. Oh, no. Well, that is, that is the standard progressive ploy. Uh, something has happened. Run away, run away. That's yep. what they do. Yeah. I don't think this is a wise idea to turn your back on de Blasio at all, because the second you do, he's going to shove it right up your culo. Ah! Yeah! Right there. All right. Um, hey, uh, by the way, uh, take a look what the cops did when he spoke. Take a look at this picture. They're, that's him speaking. They turned their back on him. That's, yeah. this, you know, this, yeah. is a, this is a time when we can use a good ass kicking by the cops. There you go. <laughs> this would be one time to do it. Speaking of kicking ass, guess what's been happening on Wall Street? A good ass kicking. Up 8% so far this year in only six months. 17% since the election, Rosie. Yeah, all the Fortune 500 companies uh, have skyrocketed since the Clintons have been off the uh, the circuit of the speaking circuit and getting paid mil billions of dollars. So their, their profits are <laughs> through the roof. That's where all their money's been going. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know what's crazy? It's almost like absent constant government uh, fiddling with the market and regulation and absent constant worry about taxes, business actually works things out on its own and improves. Yep. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So weird. No. Yeah. Trump is setting a whole new tone on Wall Street now. It's like now Wall Street's no longer taking care of just itself. Now it's reach arounds for everybody. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. Look, the stock, the stock market did great under Obama because the Treasury flooded Wall Street with taxpayer money. And the Federal Reserve dropped interest rates, interest rates to zero. So where'd they get that money? From us. And we yeah. know it now, right? Under Donald Trump, Wall Street's kicking ass because Donald Trump is cutting stupid regulations, getting rid of illegal immigrants, and we need to be negotiating all those stupid trade agreements. Yep. Bada bing, bada boom. 8% growth, 4% unemployment. Party time, baby! Yeah! yeah. By the way, did you guys see this? Take a look. No, 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 no. There you go. Now, yeah. You lost your tremendous hat. That is a president. That loses again. But, 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 but he goes back! I got it. Here. <laughs> now, that is a president. Here's your hat. That is a president who appreciates the soldiers. He loves our right? troops. As opposed to this guy here. Oh, there you go. There it is. The, the latte 
salute. The yeah. famous Semper Latte salute. Yeah, we remember that one. The sunglasses make them look like On that note, I think it's time to say hello to the Tommy's Grass announcer, Mr. Matthew Gidry. Hey. hey, Matthew. Hey, Matthew, I want to know something. I'm the big cheese around here. How come you never salute me? That's what I want to know. Well, Tommy, I actually have a very special salute in mind. Oh, yeah. It involves one of these fingers. Oh, oh no. I forget which one. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, that special salute just for me. I can't wait. So what's coming up, Matthew? Later on, we have the Bigot Lottery and the Professionals. But yeah. next, it's Worldwide Panic! Yeah. Only on yeah. Tommy's yeah. Garage! Oh, yeah. Back my head! <laughs> <laughs> Love you. You locked your deadbolt, but this happened. Why? Because deadbolts do not prevent kick-ins. You need Armor City doors. There were over one million kick-in robberies in 2014 alone. But when deadbolts fail, Armor City doors protects. Guaranteed. 713-487-5539. Or stop by ArmorCityDoors.com. Remember, deadbolts do not stop kick-ins. But when deadbolts fail, you need Armor City Doors. ArmorCityDoors.com. Healthcare system, broken. The FDA, broken. And the pharmaceutical industry is not there to help you. How can you give your body healthy, maximum performance naturally without chemicals and additives? EarthPatriots.com has found a natural solution. It's native to your body, crucial to your health. This product helps repair your cells and boosts your immune system, effectively slowing down the aging process. Stop by EarthPatriots.com. Hey, where can I get good local news? Pick up the Bayou City Bull. How about a good karaoke get bar? The Bayou City Bull. Great nightclub. Bayou City Bull. A good ice the house. Bayou City Bull. Dry cleaner. Bayou City Bull. Massage therapist. Bayou City Bull. Hair salon. Bayou City Bull. Nail salon. Nail salon. For a friend. Oh, and a bail bonds. Wild night. It's for a friend. friend. Yeah. The Bayou City Bull has local news, local entertainment, local businesses. It even has a joke page, coupons, and Houston calendar girls. Bay Town to Katy. King to Clear Lake. If you want to know what's going on, pick up a copy of the Bayou, Bayou City Bull. Bull. BayouCityBull.com and Twitter. Yes, the Mac Count's coming now. There we go. Yeah! We are back! Yeah! Oh. Hey, it's Did it's you miss time it? to panic! Yeah! Oh. 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 Tommy's Garage looks for the greatest stories all over the world. Joining us is the big man just back from his total conquest of the Houston Improv, comedian Mike Rao. There you go. And some people call him the Coca Lizard. We call him Chuck the Thunder. It's Gavin Babino. Coca Lizard. <laughs> well, you guys showed up just in time because George Clooney is leaving his magnificent Italian chateau and moving back to the United States. Yeah, why? Because the refugee problem is making it dangerous for his family. Yes, a long time ago, George the genius extolled the virtues of importing millions of Muslim refugees. Suddenly, the five-watt light bulb in his head bing, blinked on. Rosie, he's now a fan of getting rid of the Muslims or just leaving them to torture the rest of the Italians and moving back to America. Exactly. And he and his <laughs> wife are real excited to move back to their L.A. home They're, that's much safer in Compton. Yeah. <laughs> yeah right, right. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. So, look, my advice to Clooney is to build a wall around your house, buy some gun. Oh, wait, you can't have guns. Over no. Oh. In L.A., you can't even have a wall. Oh, God. Well, in that case... Grow a set and stay the hell out of Word. America. Just go. Yeah. Just go. Good luck. <laughs> I love it when stupidity meets reality. Yes. <laughs> yes. You know, you know he's going to do it. What Gavin said, he's going to he's going to get a great big mansion. He's going to build a wall around it. He's going to have armed guards protecting him, and then go on CNN 
to complain about our rights to do the very same exactly. thing. Exactly. Right. Exactly. This is a hypocrite. Right. Well, pretty soon, George Clooney is going to discover that inviting men into women's bathrooms might be dangerous for your family, too. Yeah. Nah, he's not that smart. He's nah, not that smart. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. In Germany, how would you like to meet a really interesting woman? Wow! Yeah, yeah. yeah. Martina Adams. She's quite a character. She actually changed her name to Martina Big. I think you can figure out why, right? Why? Well, uh, her hat! Recently, she had an even bigger operation. Not those things, this. No! Oh, what? Now she's Martina Big and Black, Rosie. <laughs> Yeah, and once you go black, you never go back, right? <laughs> yeah, good luck. I, I, but I heard, I heard Rachel, damn right. Rachel Madcow is starting a GoFundMe page so she can have the same surgery in Romania. Oh, I, yeah. I, I heard Rachel Madcow having the same surgery, uh, same, starting the GoFundMe page so she can marry her. That's what I thought. No, uh, one of the two. Oh. Okay. I wouldn't put my name on the production rights to that movie. What? Ooh. Uh -oh. Okay. Uh -oh. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. know. I'd rather have the bomb than the crickets. <laughs> yeah. Okay, look, until this woman beats her fifth baby daddy with her six inch hoops <laughs> to <laughs> wear the weave and names her kids after things that she can't afford, like Porsche, Mercedes, rent, <laughs> this bitch ain't black. I'm sorry. There you go. <laughs> 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 Gavin got all three. You got a bell, a big bell, and a hammer. Oh, that's just badass right there. It's all about the lizard lady. And that ain't easy to do. <laughs> We're white. We understood half of that. <laughs> what? She looks so natural, though, doesn't she? Yeah. <laughs> she looks like a stripper at a minstrel show. <laughs> and that's not racial. That's not racial reassignment surgery. That's racist reassignment uh. surgery. <laughs> yeah, wrench your goals all. Eat your heart out. You know, this would be a cartoon sex if you, you know. Like, 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 what cartoon do you see on Wednesday morning? She doesn't look real anymore. I don't want to know. Her. It looks like a Michael Jackson a, doll with she's boobs. She's an anime figure. Yeah. Speaking of black, speaking of black, in Katy, Texas, at the Katy Mills Mall, a police officer was buying a cookie at the Great American Cookie Company. The 18-year-old kid who worked at the cash register bought the police officer the cookie out of his own pocket. After the cop left, the black family next in line began insulting the kid, calling him a racist. The woman threatened to slap him. The man actually went behind the counter and attacked the kid. A customer what? stopped the assault. Yeah. So what happened? The next day, the Great American Cookie Company fired the kid, Rosie. No way. Yeah, right. and, and after all the backlash, the company is renaming its uh, the cookie company to the Mediocre Tommy Snowflake Cookie Company. Yeah. Oh. Ouch. Wait, wait, that's a hammer. All right. Okay, look, three quick things. One, Giga Maggie's. Nice kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two, this boy was clearly raised right. Okay. Yes. Yes. His parents were awesome. Three, management and those two race baiting fools needed a double doozy upside the head. There you go. Yeah, you're done. just the guy to do it. They got it. Right there. Can you say lost in So no, more props to the kids. He's a great kid. He's got great parents. Uh, I do want to defend the people who complained because they didn't realize it was a police officer. They thought that he didn't have to use his EBT card like they did to buy. Ah! No, he didn't. Right there. Ooh. Yeah, I think that guy had a chocolate chip cookie on his shoulder. Um, no. You know, look, 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 the, the number one rule for all you black social justice warriors out there, don't make racists look smart. Right. And these folks made the racists look like Albert Einstein. Yeah. All right, hey, but we do have some good news. Who wants to live longer and healthier? Yeah. We have the answer at Tommy's Garage. Lots of sex. Yeah! yeah. Not only will you live longer, more sex helps your vision, your heart, and even your vocabulary, Rosie. <laughs> True. Well, I'm screwed again, aren't I? And not in a good way, and, so and, to speak. And if solo sex counts... Hey, where's Matt? Hey. Where's Matt? Matt will live to 150. <laughs> oh, thank God you punched oh, me God. 150. The other Matt. <laughs> The fake Matt. <sighs> yeah. I'm so sorry, Matt. I'm so sorry, Matt. Look, I'm sorry. Uh, at this rate, my goodness, I think I'll be immortal by the, I don't know, Christmas time? Oh! Highlander. Immortal? Yeah, I, I'm not sure I buy this one. I've seen a lot of uh, 
married people and sexless marriages that have lived into their 90s, but I have never seen an 80-year-old hooker. So I don't know. <laughs> Clearly, you've never been to the Fiesta yeah. Club, Lucy. <laughs> you've never been to Shepherd and 59. Oh. Matt would know, folks. Matt, you Matt yeah. would know. Yeah. Go there. Go there. Look, I know my vocabulary definitely increases during sex. We'd say things we'd never say otherwise, like, I love you. <laughs> Speaking of sex, well, there's sex and there's holy sex, right? And you know what I'm talking about, right? Holy well, speaking of holy sex at the Vatican, that might be literal because a few weeks ago, police broke up a gay orgy at the secretary's office. No way. Yeah, yeah right. way. Hey, way. Which rugby. secretary? The holy office, which is in charge of tackling sexual abuse amongst the oh, clergy. Man. <laughs> it makes you kind of lose your faith a little bit there, Rosie, doesn't it? Yeah, and I heard the Pope was furious about this because he didn't get an invite. Oh. oh. Well, Tenderizer. what impressed me the most was the cops didn't ask to join in. Oh. oh. Well, wow. that's a, maybe, anyway, maybe, maybe, maybe no. it hit his yeah, spam folder. I don't know. You never All right, know. Hammer. Look. They're I, Italian cops. I'm just amazed <laughs> that a 76-year-old man was able to keep it up for longer than four hours. Oh. Yeah. Thanks, C. Ellis. Call your doctor. Oh. Call your doctor. Uh, I, uh... <laughs> we have an audience bell. Actually, that's a big bell right there. Hey, Lydia. We have his number. Hilarious. She's looking for a train. The you, holy are you, are train. You, are you trolling? Are you trolling for a 76-year-old? <laughs> uh, that's a good point. <laughs> if, if your erection lasts longer than four hours, call Lydia. <laughs> They call her Broke Back Fountain. <laughs> and, and her number will be on after the show. Yeah. Get baptized. Do we have uh, Do we have room for one more dick joke? I can't tell. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. On the show? Yeah, go for it. Go for it. I called, uh, I called my Uncle Giacomo. You know my Uncle Giacomo? No. And uh, he straightened me out. He, he's connected with, uh, with the Vatican. He goes, and Mike, it was a no, an orgy. It was an interactive seminar about how to do unto others. You do it from the front, and then you do it from the back, and then you do it from the side. <laughs> That's two bells right there. Look, I'm not necessarily going to lose faith, faith in God, but I definitely wonder who's in charge of the Catholic Church anymore. That's for sure. Oh. Yeah. Speaking of wondering who's in charge, about two years ago, ESPN decided to become butt-sucking liberals, and their ratings fell right into the toilet. Well, this week, ESPN decided to honor the military. But what simulating host could they hire? This guy, liberal butt turd John Stewart. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. Rosie, somehow I think the geniuses at ESPN really didn't think this one out all the way. Yeah, CNN doesn't think that anybody can outdo their stupidity. So ESPN said, hold our beers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's true. yeah, yeah. Watch this. Yeah. Watch this. Yeah. My God. Check this out. First, I just have to say, screw you, okay? <laughs> Simple. Put him in a dress and he'll be crying for PTSD as they're doing target practice out there. <laughs> it's pathetic. Nice. You know, That's mean. When, you think, uh, when you think of sports, of course, you think of a middle-aged Jewish comedian. That's, that's the oh, first yeah. thing yeah. that pops yeah, into yeah, my head. Yeah. No, look, with The Daily Show, Jon Stewart invented fake news, so he's just bringing that brand to yes, ESPN. Yes, exactly. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. true. That's, that's a really good point. So yeah. I guess Jane Fonda was busy, huh? Oh. <laughs> Bam! That's a tenorizer right there. John Stewart show in the military. It's like, I'm on fire, I'm on fire. Give me some gasoline. Boom. They're, they're, they're going to go right in the toilet. By the way, a few birthdays this week. First, Greg Hat. Greg Hat, where you are? Yeah, Greg. Happy birthday. But also, check this out. Check this out. In Maine, Florence Beers turned 100. Flip the next one, dude. The next one, Brandon. Next one up. No, no, not that one. The next picture. Picture. Next picture. 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 Let's do it. There you go. In Maine, Florence Bees turned 100. She says her secret to long life is a good glass of wine every day. And in San Antonio, Marie Lopez says lots of spicy food helped her live to be 110 years old. How about that? Pretty cool, huh? Well, let's say hello to, uh, to Matthew, uh, Matt, uh, Matthew Gidry, our time is going as an announcer. <laughs> Matthew, how about that? The secret to long life, spicy foods and wine. Just spicy foods and lots of wine. Sounds like a weekend in Vegas with Rosie. Yeah. Thank there you. you go. Once a month. Rosie will live to be 250 years old. <laughs> I promise. I swear to God. Thank you. Slater on.
<laughs> Just nail it. Later on, we have the professionals, but next, we have the Bigot Lottery, the greatest invention in the history of humanity, only on Tommy's Garage! How can you give your body healthy, maximum performance naturally without all those chemicals and additives? EarthPatriots.com has found a natural solution. It's native to your body, crucial to your health. This product helps repair your cells and boosts your immune system, effectively slowing down the aging process. Welcome to EarthPatriots.com. You locked your deadbolt, but this happened. Why? Because deadbolts do not prevent kick-ins. You need Armor City doors. There were over one million kick-in robberies in 2014 alone. But when deadbolts fail, Armor City doors protects. Guaranteed. 713-487-5539. Or stop by ArmorCityDoors.com. Remember, deadbolts do not stop kick-ins. But when deadbolts fail, you need Armor City Doors. ArmorCityDoors.com. Hey, where can I get good local news? Pick up the Bayou City Bull. How about a good karaoke get bar? The Bayou City Bull. Great night the Bayou City Bull. A good ice the house? Bayou City Bull. Dry cleaner. Bayou City Bull. Massage therapist? Bayou City Bull. Hair salon? Bayou City Bull. Nail salon? Nail salon. For a friend. Oh, and a bail bonds. Wild night? It's for a friend. friend. Yeah. The Bayou City Bull has local news, local entertainment, local businesses. It even has a joke page, coupons, and Houston calendar girls. Bay Town to Katy. Kingwood to Clear Lake. If you want to know what's going on, pick up a copy of the Bayou, Bayou City, City Bull. Bull. BayouCityBull.com and Twitter. Hey, what are you doing? I'm uh, tweeting. Tweeting? What's that? It's Twitter. Twitter? What's Twitter? Tweet. Tweet. You don't tweet? I, I fart. Is that the same thing? Come on, dude. You're supposed to be helping me clean the pool. You're going to get me in trouble again. Yeah, all right. I'm coming. Yeah, this is the big I'm not getting in trouble because of him again. I'm getting proof he's not working. Come on, man, we gotta clean the pool. <laughs> Why were you watching that? So funny. I was watching the Bigot Lottery on Tommy's Garage. Dude, you just made the Bigot Lottery. Ah! We are back! Yeah! <laughs> it's time to play the Bigot Lottery! Yeah! It's, boom, boom. it's the Bigot Lottery! Yes, it's the biggest lottery every week. We scour the world to find the biggest idiots who do the dumbest things. And we force ourselves to guess the race of the idiot, thus embarrassing everybody in the process. Joining Rosie is Gavin Babineau yeah, and yeah. the yeah. lovely Brittany Lee. Brittany Lee! Yeah. Yeah. Don't call it a comeback. Yeah. All right. Yeah. First up, Matthew, let's see that scoreboard. Well, <laughs> he's got no mic. So, <laughs> so far we've got Rosie at 20. Holding fast. We've got I Brittany like holding it fast. Holding yeah. fast at 10. Is he holding fast? And Gavin is holding fast at 15. Okay. He likes holding yeah, me fast right. at 15. And this time I I'm going to stop fast. playing the game and start paying <laughs> yeah. attention yeah. to yeah. the score. Hey, that'll be a first. Yeah, all right. So are you ready, panel? Yes. Are you guys ready to play? Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's begin the big lottery. Let's start in North Carolina. A sheriff knocked on the door of a farmhouse. He was there for a complaint about noise. When the door opened, the owner said, I guess you hear about the opium. They, <laughs> they weren't, but now they are. <laughs> 2,000 pounds of opium.
implants, $45,000 bail. That's <laughs> light, man. White, black, Hispanic, or Asian, Rosie? Wow, North Carolina, 2,000 pounds of opium. Holy yeah. cow. That's got saltine American written all <laughs> over it. <laughs> Rosie goes cracker. Cracker. Uh, wow, that's stupid as hell. Um, <laughs> it, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna be a little different. I'm gonna say Hispanic. Ooh, Ooh. Hispanic. Ooh. You got a little battle going on here, Brittany. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go with um, I think I'm gonna go with Asian. You know, opium. It's exotic. Ah, you know, they used to have a problem little, with it back in the day. My little I connection. Think I, I like that. What do you guys think out here? I think they're overthinking it. Uh, let's hope they're overthinking it. There we go. Let's meet Cody Shaw. Oh no! Nice. Brittany, who had it out here? Who had it out here? Nice. Whoa, that's amazing, right? The good news is, the good news is, Cody proves agents actually are stupid, just like the rest of us. Nice. That's good. In Florida. Miss Selfish forgot a bikini contest at the Florida Treasure Coast. But one of the contestants was worried. She thought her booty might not be good enough to win. So she went to plan B. She pulled off her high heel and beat the best looking girl in the face. Nice. <laughs> She's in trouble now. Why? Because she was already on probation. <laughs> White, black, and Spanish, you're raising, Rosie. Black. Florida, <laughs> probation, <laughs> beating the girl with a uh, shoe. Yes. <laughs> That's got Hispanic written all over it. Rosie goes Hispanic. <laughs> oh. Her chunkla. She beat her with a chunkla. I wanted to say that. Uh. You got me, man. You got me. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be as different from him as possible, just to try and, you know, keep it going. Well, you already are. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to tell you this, but you're black. And my dick's like You could change over. that, I guess. So, I'm, I'm going to say sandbox black. Strong, sandbox strong. You going black? Always sandbox strong. I'm going to say black. Ooh. Ooh. Gavin goes black. He's a, ah, I know, it's never happened before. Traitor. Yeah. Or accurate. One and he's other. never come back. <laughs> all right, all right. That would be a 50-50 black or 50-50 Hispanic for me, but the booty envy, that's a white girl thing, yeah. so I'm yeah. going with the honky class. Wow. Yeah. Wow. What do you guys think out here? Taylor gone mad. Hispanic honky honky. Yeah, like, let's, uh, meet, let's meet our titillating okay, teaser okay. with a temper tantrum, Erica Caitlin Marks. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Daily double. Oh. Oh. Ding, ding. Yes. Damn. She's an aspiring model. I think they have slightly okay. different modeling programs in the slammer. If so, she might meet this guy. In Las Vegas, Rosie's second home. Yes. Yeah. yeah. A man was busted for having sex. Rosie. In oh, public. Yeah. I do that a lot in Vegas. On the side of a busy four-lane highway. Well, uh, not only on two-lane highway. In traffic with a woman who was dead. Oh. Oh. They're normally dead after I get done with them. Yeah. No problem. No problem. He had the perfect excuse. He told police she was alive when I met her. White, black, Hispanic, or Asian, Rosie. Uh, I'm going on Brittany Lee on this ah. one. <laughs> but I'm uh, the first thing I thought was, why don't we do it in the road? And then I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> we went straight from necromancy to necrophilia. Um, I, I don't know. I think in... I'm gonna go with uh, maybe Hispanic Santeria. You want to? Ooh, Santeria! Ooh. I didn't think of that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, Gavin, Gavin. Come on, Whitey. I mean, talk about <laughs> Ripper a new one. Oh, <laughs> oh no, he <laughs> didn't. All the way. Reaper a new one. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Going to say salty American. Ooh, you're Ooh. going cracker on this one, salty American, Rosie. Yeah. Who's you know. I've always heard the black guy say a hole's a hole, and it doesn't matter what, what's going on there. I'm going to beat it up anyway. Yeah. Savage! really? <laughs> <laughs> so she went white? No, she went Hispanic. Hispanic, and you went white? I'm going to go black! Just there you go. All right, what do you guys think out here? What do you guys think? You can't go black. Hispanic. 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 Well, let's see. Let's meet our cold-hearted lover, Joseph Martinez. Oh, my God! <laughs> that was a trifecta, baby! Oh. He is 
Hispanic, of course. Who had it out here? Who had it? Machete. Three for three. Three for three. She's on fire. Brittany Lee's on fire. Right. She's got three. Look, take it from me, Mr. Martinez. Don't waste your passion on the woman who's a dead lay. Whoa! Wait a minute, wait a minute. There's some kind of innuendos going on there, isn't there? And last, and last, and last. Somewhere in the world, a man was taking a selfie with a bunch of friends. And guess what they found? A giant python, a big one. So they did what anybody would do. They picked it up and he put it in the selfie. But this was not a happy python. How do we know? Because it bit the man right in the ass. Okay, yeah. that wasn't me. That Are we looking at Pacific one. Islander, Indian Dot, Colombian, or Russian? That's the drunk guy right there. He's Somewhere the in the world. I always love those. I know you love I it. I love those. Giant Python. Let's go. I, I know a certain Colombian that uh, oh, bites people in the ass. <laughs> so I'm going to go with Colombian. <laughs> Rosie goes Colombian. Okay. He really did go there. He did. He did. Uh, he did several times. I'm oh, oh. going <laughs> to. They you know. tend to have knives and throw shit. I'm gonna stay over here. <laughs> uh, I will say Pacific Islander. Pacific Islander. Brittany Lee. Ooh, that's a 50-50 as well. I can see it going either way. You're gonna get it right uh, either way. Come on, girl. Oh yeah, no, girl, I know. Throw everybody off yeah. and go Russian. <laughs> I'm gonna go Indian dot. Ooh, what do you guys think out here? Russian. Indian dot. I mean, I saw Jungle Books. Yeah, it's gonna be Russian. You watch and see. All right. You want to meet the man who snake bit meat? I shot Bushnoy. He, he thought all the, <laughs> and you thought you thought all God has was smart. Oh, <laughs> oh, no, Kelly, come back, baby. Four for four. Who had it out here? Who had it? Who had it? My four advice to you. Four. My advice to Mr. Ashok. The wow. same advice my father told me when I became a teenager. Don't play with your snake. Oh. That didn't. That wraps up the big lottery. Now you tell me. Matthew, how they do? Oh my god. Brittany scored all oh of them. You're oh up. My, that's, oh my Atlanta. That's what We've they got are Rosie got squat. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin got black squat. squat. Black squat. Yeah. Black that's squat. all that black privilege. Brittany slayed them. It's cultural and got appropriation. Four, so wow. she's now at 14. Ooh. God bless you, young woman. Ha you Wee! kick them all to the curb. How'd you guys, how'd you guys do out here? Tommy, it's time to meet the professionals. Everyone stay tuned. It's time for Tommy's Garage. Yeah, bring it in, baby. Yes, the professionals. <laughs> Tommy's Garage. You locked your deadbolt, but this happened. Why? Because deadbolts do not prevent kick-ins. You need Armor City doors. There were over 1 million kick-in robberies in 2014 alone. But when deadbolts fail, Armor City doors protects. Guaranteed. 713-487-5539. Or stop by ArmorCityDoors.com. Remember, deadbolts do not stop kick-ins. But when deadbolts fail, you need Armor City Doors. ArmorCityDoors.com. Healthcare system broken. The FDA broken. And the pharmaceutical industry is not there to help you. How can you give your body healthy, maximum performance naturally without chemicals and additives? EarthPatriots.com has found a natural solution. It's native to your body, crucial to your health. This product helps repair your cells and boosts your immune system, effectively slowing down the aging process. Stop by EarthPatriots.com. Hey, where can I get good local news? Pick up the Bayou City Bull. How about a good karaoke get bar? The Bayou City Bull. Great night the Bayou City Bull. A good ice the house? The Bayou City Bull. Dry cleaner. The Bayou City Bull. Massage therapist? Bayou City Bull. Hair salon? Bayou City Bull. Nail salon? Nail salon. For a friend. Oh, and a bail bonds. Wild night? It's for a friend. friend. Yeah. The Bayou City Bull has local news, local entertainment, local businesses. It even has a joke page, coupons, and Houston calendar girls. Baytown to Katy. Kingwood to Clear Lake. If you want to know what's going on, pick up a copy of the Bayou, Bayou City, City Bull. Bull. BayouCityBull.com and Twitter. Hey, what are you doing? I'm uh, tweeting. Tweeting? What's that? It's Twitter. 
Twitter? What's Twitter? Tweet. Tweet. You don't tweet? I, I fart. Is that the same thing? in six minutes. Joining us once again is filmmaker Matt Miller. Matt Miller! We got comedian Mike Rayo. Yeah. Mike Rayo. Yeah. Yeah. And what? What? Nah, come on. And Sam Griesbaum. Yeah. Yeah. Griesbaum. Griesbaum. <laughs> <laughs> well, the good news, the good news for the Tommy's Crush panels in Scotland, they just completed a study. It turns out that smart kids live longer. No yeah, Mike, don't look now, but Matt's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> More people doing useless studies. <laughs> smart people live longer. You, you know what the differentiator was? Buh. Accidents. Yeah. yeah. Of yeah. course smart people live longer. It's called natural selection, you idiot. <laughs> Thank you. Exactly. I'm with Mike on this one. The kids, that e the kid that eats the most marbles, doesn't get to live as long as the kid that does it. <laughs> yeah. 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 First of all, Darwin. Duh. Yeah. Second, <laughs> second, I think this is the best news I've heard in my entire life because it means I get to spend my old age minus millennials. Oh, yeah. Ah, wow. That is a tenderizer. Nice. Boom, right there. Nice. Look, smart kids live longer. Who are they kidding? Joe Biden should have been dead before he graduated kindergarten. <laughs> In Las Vegas, guess what went on for sale last week? Uh, Marijuana. Uh, yes, pot is legal in the Silver State, Mike. All right, so let's see: pot, prostitution, gambling. You know what the loneliest? <laughs> you know what the loneliest job in uh, Vegas is? Vice, vice detective. Yeah, exactly. yeah, what's in, what's in the tech? Those guys got a lot of free time. <laughs> yeah. I think it's going to make Vegas a lot easier because now all the slot machines are going to pay off in cookies. And <laughs> <laughs> you won't even have a need for Vegas shows. They're just going to show infomercials in the home shopping network and people are like, oh man, this is great. Homer <laughs> City <laughs> Door. <laughs> 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 I just find, and in other news, uh, the two most prominent careers used to be a cocktail waitress and a blackjack dealer, and now it's going to be liberal government leeching street stoner and edible baker. <laughs> <laughs> just like in Denver. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> We've seen this before. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I, I predict casino profits are going to go way up. You, yeah. If you're playing yeah. poker, you get your stone, you got royal flush, you're like, Whoa. You're like, you're gonna lose a billion dollars. It's gonna happen every day. Oh man, I, I don't need a card. I've already got like five of them. <laughs> <laughs> what? If you gave me more, I'd have like six or seven. And the, <laughs> the guy who wins is the guy who's not stoned. Yeah. <laughs> In Petaluma, California, they had a contest, the world's ugliest dog contest. That's Whoa. right. Hey, yeah. come on. <laughs> <laughs> come on, Brandon. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Smart guy. Oh. If you don't get that dog picture, I'm gonna set you up on a hot date with Debbie Rock on the show. <laughs> Come on, get it up there. There you go. Oh. Martha the Mastiff, Mike, she won. Yeah, you know, since uh, B. Arthur died, the competition has really opened up. Oh. <laughs> oh. Security. Well, 
on top of that, Rosie O'Donnell couldn't participate this year because there wasn't a softball portion of the, of the game. <laughs> <laughs> this totally surprised me. I had no idea Chelsea even competed in that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys want to see some of, the, some of the previous winners for real? Yeah. Well, take a look at this. Oh, oh, oh that's cute. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh God. Oh, look. Oh, yeah. Leave yeah. yeah. <laughs> Speaking of, yeah, there you go. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, they show animal torture on the oh show. I can't unsee <laughs> that now. Thank you. I'm so ashamed of myself. Yeah, hey, ladies, okay. ladies, ladies, I got a question for you. A personal question. Would you glitter bomb your vajayjay? What? Oh, no. no. Well, it all the time. Well, hey. it's a new trend. Doctors say it creates vaginal sunburn yeah. and increases STD risk, but it's kind of hot. So since we're all guys here, what do you guys think of the glitter on the vajayjay, guys? Well, it's flavored also, if you read the article, it's yeah. flavored. And the slogan is, I, I'm quoting this now, to make your vaginal juices magically delicious, <laughs> which explains the look on this guy's face. <laughs> That's what he was doing all the time. Now, now we know. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm not a fan. Uh, <laughs> if you've been to the beach, you know there are some things, some things that that mess with the fluid action of foreign objects. I don't want to, I don't want to sandblast my hog. But on top of that, <laughs> oh. the glitter effect. Two o'clock in the morning, you forget. You get up to use the bathroom. You flip on the light. And you start singing disco tunes because <laughs> <laughs> not for me. You know, first HPV and now glitter bombs. I'm going to have to go home and call my oncologist and get a scan because somehow I think my chances of esophageal cancer just doubled. Oh! <laughs> that is oh! a bell and a hammer. Whoa! Woo! You hey! will survive. Hey, Whoa. hey! Did not see that one coming. It got a bell and a hammer. Hey, I'll tell you what, ladies. You spend. You who you eat. Yeah. You, hey, ladies, la la ladies out here, look, if you spend a night with Tommy's Garage crew and you make your. It will make your Vijay Day spark like sunshine, right, guys? Damn right. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Ah, oh, oh, come on, uh, man. Uh, <laughs> I like that one. Was it that bad? Yes. Oh, well, girls make good and bomb their honey tunnel, but guess what happens if you aren't really sure? Well, Corey Doty didn't give the baby a B for boy or wife or girl. No, this parent, whatever it is, Insists that the baby should remain unknown until they have a sense of self and command of vocabulary to tell me who they are. The lawyers are demanding the designation you, meaning unsure, and the British Columbia said, okay, we'll call it you, Mike. That's a you. Potty That's training beautiful. should be very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't like this. It puts too much pressure on the kid. I think until the kid can pick his gender, instead of a you, it should be uh, Pat. It should be a pat. Yeah, there you yeah, go. Yeah, unless, yeah. unless you're Asian, Perhaps unless, pat. unless you're Asian, and then it's Kim. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I guess the question for me is, why do we automatically assume that if the kid gets to choose, he's going to choose to be a human? Yeah. You know? Why not a polar bear, a unicorn, or a hydra goat for for hydra goat? Sake? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hydra goat. I don't know, but it sounds good. Yeah, it's, it's not good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change mine tomorrow to hydra goat. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's how my grandpappy always said. Uh, you know, one legged grasshopper never kicked the seeds out of a dill pickle. What? Yeah, see, I, I really don't have much on this one other than I'm pretty sure this kid's gonna suck at playing Legos. <laughs> yeah, we should get to pick a new mother. Yeah, I got to the get the to parent. That parent should be given the sexual identification of WTF. That's what I'm thinking. All right, but there is something out there more dangerous than wacky people: yoga. That's right. Yoga scientists say that 10% of yoga practitioners suffer injuries, and yoga makes existing injuries worse. Mike, I know you have a lot of experience with this. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Actually, I do. I, I think yoga is dangerous. I was almost in three car, car accidents this week just looking at yoga pants. Uh. <laughs> yeah, actually, my wife caught me watching the, the yoga channel, and it was injurious to my health. Because <laughs> I didn't see her for a couple days, then the swelling went down, and now I'm <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> it's official. It's f yoga is finally more dangerous than the NBA, which has got me thinking I'm going to start my own team. I'm going to call it the Harlot Thought Trotters. <laughs> Some girls will know what that means. Oh, no, right. no, nobody wears yoga pants. Just me, huh? Yeah, yeah. Just me. Just you. Look, I, I agree there's some really dangerous yoga moves. Here's one by the railroad tracks. That's dangerous, right? Here's one. Check this one out. That's yoga. On a skyscraper. And wow. be very careful doing yoga at the office because you can do some real damage. Like this here, this girl here did. That's no. <laughs> That's Congress. That's a that wraps up the professionals. Matthew Gibson, what's coming up next? Well, Tommy, assuming we can all pull our heads out of our collective asses, we hit the end of the show. How are we going to fix America? Are you guys ready for that? Well, you're going to get it only on Tommy's Garage. Yeah. Come on, dude, you're supposed to be helping me clean the pool. You're gonna get me in trouble again. Yeah, all right, I'm coming. Yeah, this is the biggest lottery. Every week we scour the world to find the biggest idiots who do the dumbest things, and we force ourselves again. I'm not getting in trouble because of him again. I'm getting proof he's not working. Come on, man, we gotta clean the pool. They're shopping at Walmart, riding horses, and doing so. Look at that, is that crazy or what? That's crazy. Why were you watching that? So funny. I was watching the Bigot Lottery on Tommy's garage. Dude, you just made the Bigot Lottery. Ah! Hey, what are you doing? Uh, I'm tweeting. Tweeting? What's that? It's Twitter. Twitter? What's Twitter? Tweet. Tweet. You don't tweet? I, I fart. Is that the same thing? Healthcare system, broken. The FDA, broken. And the pharmaceutical industry is not there to help you. How can you give your body healthy, maximum performance naturally without chemicals and additives? EarthPatriots.com has found a natural solution. It's native to your body, crucial to your health. This product helps repair your cells and boosts your immune system, effectively slowing down the aging process. Stop by EarthPatriots.com. Hey, where can I get good local news? Pick up the Bayou City Bull. How about a good karaoke bar? The Bayou City Bull. Great nightclub. The Bayou City Bull. A good ice the house? The Bayou City Bull. Dry cleaner. The Bayou City Bull. Massage therapist? The Bayou City Bull. Hair salon? The Bayou City Bull. Nail salon? Nail salon. For a friend. Oh, and a bail bondsman. Wild night? It's for a friend. A friend. Yeah. The Bayou City Bull has local news, local entertainment, local businesses. It even has a joke page, coupons, and Houston calendar girls. Hey, town to Katie. King went to Clear Lake. If you want to know what's going on, pick up a copy of the Bayou, Bayou City, City Bull. Bull. BayouCityBull.com and Twitter. We are back! Yeah! Yeah! So, Rosie, how are you going to fix America? Okay, we're going to take all the crappy politicians in Congress and we're going to make them adhere to all the rules that we have to adhere to and we're going to make them do the same health care that we have to have. There you That'll go. That'll stop all of that crap. I love that one. That's excellent. Amen. Amen. Gavin, what you got for me, buddy? First, ban sanctuary cities. Legally define two genders in America. Stay sandbox strong. Yeah. yeah. I'll take that. Yes. I think instead of uh, having to put your gender on your license, you have to put your IQ and if you're a liberal. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. This, hey, this week, Houston icon Matt Patrick died, right? He was right. a good man, smart man. He carried the conservative banner proudly, but we're not going to whine and cry. Why? Because we want to celebrate his greatness. He was a yeah. genuine conservative yeah. warrior, yes. right? Yes. yes. Yeah. We love his battles, and he died like he lived with dignity. In fact, let's all say hello to Matt Patrick in heaven right now. Yo, man! man. Right. He's That's taking he's right. taking on all the liberals in heaven right now. I hope he's beating. Well, wait a minute, there aren't any liberals in heaven. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> hey, that wraps up Tommy's Garage this week. You guys have a good time tonight? Yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's thank our panel, Rosie Rosencrantz. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, Gavin oh, Babineau! Oh, yeah. Gavin! Yeah. And the big man, the big man, Mike Rayo! Yeah. Mike Rayo! Yeah. Beautiful Brittany Lee! Brittany yeah. Lee! Yeah. Marvelous Matt Miller! Matt Miller! Yeah. And Super Sam! I'll tell you who did it, right there. Look back there, right there. That's Johnny Carr. Johnny. Over there, Brandon Cresco. And Matthew Miller back there to the painting. Yeah. Thank you, guys. All right. But then I'm Tommy Ags. It's time to close the garage. We'll be back next week with another great show. So remember, pull up a chair, pop open a beer. It's time for Tommy's Garage. Yeah!